Okay, we are good. Let's reset. Hey, hey, people. So we've got Ricardo in this one again. So he's one of my favorite photographers, especially when it comes to editing. His editing is just so smooth. Yeah, I love doing tutorials on him. Ricardo's feed is very, very cohesive. Colors are very often cyan and green that I love. And I find that is actually quite unique. And they're very smooth. Like is no, the images aren't overly busy and they have the tiniest bit of shine to them and they're on the natural side so like i might think to bring down the sharpening and stuff like that he is also a guest editor in the course does a number of tutorials really teaching how to use those filters maximize your edit but for this one i'm just trying to recreate one of his edits um but if you want to learn from him directly he's teaching multiple lessons in the course along with the countless other pro photographers where you get the preset raw image and the lesson to go along with it because like that's everything you need to really really learn and, and that's what i wanted when i first started so that's the whole idea of the guest editor section in the course to give you everything you need from preset to raw image to lesson to multiple examples so that way you can actually learn because i bet you've tried to follow lessons before not had the raw image not had the preset and it's been very difficult for you to learn so i just wanted to create the resource i wish i had i was so frustrated and i just i just really wanted the raw image i wanted their preset and the exact preset they use for that exact photo and the exact just adjustments they use and like understand the why of why they're doing those adjustments that's the idea of the guest editor section ricardo teaching ricardo has over five lessons in there if you're part of the course you get access to this raw image as well as a dng so the settings are applied and stuff like that i just really want to maximize everyone's resources also in the course so like you'll learn a lot but then there's presets and raw images i believe are very 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 important when learning and is actually how i learned really fast because i only started maybe three four years ago but as you know i get these raw images and these youtube tutorials and it's actually how i learn really quickly i know you guys will learn really quickly if you got the same access i got when i started this youtube channel because that's how i learned really 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 quick and now i can just recreate just about anyone's edit but i have done like over 200 lightroom tutorials yeah i just want to compress everything for you guys yeah that's the idea of the guest editor section but yeah i'll link up his presets if you wish to get his presets otherwise give him a follow down in the description and we'll get into this tutorial okay so here's his edit and we're going to try to recreate it with the exact same image okay so it's pretty dark let's just bring up exposure a little bit and the shadows a lot so then we are looking pretty a lot more similar at the gate one thing we need to do is that i'll show you the cropping and what we need to do here so the horizon is a little off and if you just click auto as long as it sees the horizon in the image it, it does a really good job otherwise you can use the ruler so if we just reset and you just find a straight line on the horizon that also does a pretty good job okay okay so what is really important is curves as always curves are so important people do not pay enough attention to understanding and working with the curves so this is where we get our fade down here and so we've got an s curve in here this is going to really help us get those cyans and greens throughout the color palette um, as you can see there's a, a lot more blue in the highlights green in the mids could say less red in the mids a little bit giving us cyan and then we've got a little bit of mac and shine just a little bit throughout this curve one like we're pretty dark down in the shadows like we still can't really see our elephant so we will do this a little bit and we'll get a nice shine as well as see our subject a little better so up here might just a bit brighter um, whites just for the punch bring down like everything's very saturated but we'll do some stuff in hsl okay so those greens back there bring them down just you know just trying to get what is in his image um there's a lot of greens and yellows though so you gotta like play which what's a green what's a yellow so we're gonna actually bring this up and i mean it's just as simple as trying to match them up to his edit nothing crazy going on um 
just like not many reds, a little bit on the elephant's back, a little bit of oranges. This is like a touch of a, like it's very subtle. So for the shadows, we're picking this like nice warm yellow and we're gonna go for 14 and that just adds almost how it like helps bring out all the greens like yellow is very close to green but we're going to balance it out so sometimes your image will get too green like we're adding all this green in for for this greenish color palette and then we need the opposite of green so i'll keep sharpening at zero because we want a nice smooth look so here's Ricardo himself that shot this very image. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo speaking. I am very honored to be selected as one of the guest editors on Martin's course. This course is for everyone. I have watched a bunch of workshops, courses, and everything on the internet available. I buy a lot of courses. I like to study the market. So I have watched a lot of courses and definitely Martin's was the best and the most complete one. If you have any doubts about editing, I'm sure this course will teach you everything you need thanks martin once again for the invitation and i hope you all like the course um and then the blending remember is all the way to the right so it's favoring the amount of the yellowy green we put in okay back to hsl yellow so this is like the color of the grass and stuff is what i'm looking at we're pretty good greens let's go a bit warmer um, I just want to sort of find what's more natural. Well, his one, I believe, what he's done is just, it looks a, a little too teal from all that, all those greens we've been adding in. So just, I'm going to go that way. Purple, so you've got to play with this to see if there's any purple in your blues, but it doesn't look like there's hardly any. Oh, not really. Uh, magenta, not really either. Okay, so the brightness of our colors, red, Looking at the elephant, let's drop this down. I mean, he could have brushed the elephant and made it darker, but I'm guessing it's the reds. It's deep in these greens. I think that looks really nice when we deepen it. Oh, as the image does start to wash out, I like how that's deeper back there. It looks more like his blues. Like we have so much brightness from the curves and the sliders. Deepening a lot of, the, a lot of these colors looks really good. Um, aquas, so the sky. Tiniest bit of magenta, a little bit on the elephant. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a decent amount on the elephant. We'll bring that down. Okay, we are good. Let's reset. And after, let's go full screen. Reset. After, let's make it a bit smaller. Reset. The key things were like making it bright enough with the sliders obviously the curves play such a role in terms of getting the right style smoothness contrast so make sure you understand the curves and then hsl um it's pra practically just uh saturation color grading for a hint of that color palette that we want bringing out the yellows and the cyans balancing those color split of the greens and the cyans and yeah no green so that's it guys uh black friday make sure you get in lots of guest editors are coming in in the next year so if you want access to really talented people and get the value of like 200 workshops and you just really need to understand what's in my free like if you're starting out and you want to get advanced check out my free training check out my live free training all these free trainings by signing up on the email list get you in the right direction when you have leveled up i would recommend mean coming and checking out the course and that's about it guys catch you in the next one comment who you want to see and i'll catch you later